What is up, everybody? Welcome, Welcome to the Nunchi Podcast. Woohoo! Hey, you know what? Uh, it seems like we're doing this show earlier and earlier. Yeah. Uh, pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty, pretty soon, soon, pretty soon it's going to be the morning show, <laughs> right? Um, this is, Actually, I think, the earliest we've done a podcast. The but, sun's out. But I, I think it kind of makes sense because we're both like getting in shape again. Mm. And you even said that you're getting better sleep, mm -hmm. right? You're feeling better in the mornings. Right. Same here. Like I wake up, um... I woke up this morning earlier than my alarm clock. Mm. Ooh. So I got some extra time in the bathroom to just, you know, do my morning poops. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went and ran a 10, 10K. I, uh, I set the alarm mm -hmm. and I, these days, as with you, I wake up earlier than my alarm clock by like five, 10 minutes maybe. Uh-huh. And I just stare aimlessly until the alarm goes off. I, I, I do that a lot. Do you know what like I mean? in a set, there's a scene in my movie mm. where I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like but, it's a very sad thing, actually. Yeah, I just go. But it feels so good to be in the in the bed, right? But well, as, you do your. I mean, that's the thing is like it's not like you get up and you your routine is to go work out. Right. You have your PT private sessions at night, right? Right. So mornings are just your your time. You should get up, have a cup of tea, look out the window. You know, that's not what do I do. some yoga. That's not. I do zero of that. <laughs> actually, actually, if people saw my morning routine mm -hmm. until I get to the office, I think people would uh, probably want to help me. What do you mean? Cause like, I just kind of stare aimlessly at the ceiling yeah. until the alarm goes off. Then I sit on my couch, mm -hmm. probably just in my underwear. Uh -huh. I smoke a cigarette or two. On the couch? On the couch. Uh -huh. Then I just kind of turn on the TV and whatever's playing. Mm -hmm. It's usually some basketball podcast or whatever. Okay. But I'm not really paying attention. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I look at the time to be like, yeah, this is about the time to shower. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like my brain goes, okay. I don't know. I, th I think most people have that same experience that you do. But the, but the, but the just waking up and smoking a cigarette before you brush your teeth. Yeah. That's like, that's, you're an animal, you're savage. Is it really? Yeah. I, Cause I don't know like what the rules are. Like, do you, are you supposed to brush your teeth and smoke? <laughs> I would think that. You might as well like, you know, get a little, smoke. get, get it dirty a little bit more before you clean it up. Yeah. yeah I mean, you might as well leave the house with a freshly minted mouse. Right. <laughs> I guess, I guess, but I think it's savage moves, but you're right. I do feel better. Yeah. I'm about <clears throat> a month into, uh, PT sessions, PT sessions. Uh huh. Um, and I heard you're like becoming buddy buddies with your. You're a personal trainer. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Uh, he's a sociopath. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you, you can't just see, use that word lightly. He admits that he's a sociopath. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And I go, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, I kind of see it. He's very, very, he's unable to feel. So he self diagnosed I'm, himself yes, yes. as a sociopath? He is, <laughs> una he is unable to feel. Uh -huh. And he's very like cold logical. Okay. You know? And um, I can imagine that that, that has uh, something to do with the traits yeah. of a sociopath. So he goes like, for example, if uh, one of his clients goes, hey, I, I can't do any more. Mm -hmm. My legs hurt. He's like, those are not my legs. <laughs> okay. Right? You know? Well, some would say that he's found the perfect profession. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. He's just, yeah, he's got a push people to their limits right right and also like when he's but this is the thing yeah. i don't mean to cut you off yeah. but the funny thing is yeah. did you tell me something like after you guys work out mm. you go eat pizza now okay so <laughs> so last week we worked yeah. out 
And he, he goes, hey, you know, do you have dinner plans? I was like, no. Uh-huh. He's like, let's go grab something to eat. So I'm thinking like something healthy, right? Yeah. And uh, he goes, you want to eat a hamburger? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah right? burger story. Right, yeah. I go, yeah. okay. Yeah. So this week mm-hmm. on Thursday after we worked out. Yeah. He goes, uh, oh, oh, on Thursday, I was supposed to come go yeah. to, remember I met up with uh, you on yeah, Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's like a housewarming thing. So I like, mm-hmm. well, I was like, oh, I need to, I told him I need to buy a housewarming gift for a person mm-hmm. that I don't really know that well. What should I do? Mm-hmm. Right. And he goes, Korean tradition. Yeah. Toilet paper. Right. And I go, I don't want to be that guy, mm-hmm. you know? So that's why I bought a diffuser. Uh-huh. What is that? A diffuser, by the way. I know you brought that. It's like a uh, smell, scent. It, oh, it's just, oh, it's like a aroma, like mm-hmm, a, yeah. like lighting a candle kind of thing. But or, you know, like, like you go to those places where it's like a... a, 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 a like a, a restroom and it goes... Psh. <laughs> yes, but but, then, like. but 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 like the diffuser you would see normally, I think in Korea yeah. would be like with the with the sticks yeah, yeah, coming yeah. out with the scent. Yeah, but then this one, it's more like uh, it it shoots out steam. Okay, okay. And I go, I don't know if he has one, or I don't uh-huh. know if he whatever. Uh, but I will at the very least, he can use it as a light because it lights up. Okay, right. So I go. Oh, okay, so that's nice. why I bought him. But then but he goes. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we went to a place. Near Tom's Pizza. Uh-huh. Big shout out to Tom. Yeah. Right. And I was like, hey, you hungry? Because he bought hamburgers last time. I go, yeah. You want to eat my favorite pizza joint in this area? Yeah. And he goes, yeah, let's do it. So we ate pizza. Okay. Oh, it, so you picked the place. Yeah. 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 So because in my mind, I'm thinking this guy is like, yeah, doing the PT sessions, but he's also keeping you fat mm. to keep. You as a friend, <laughs> kind of like, you know, keep I guess you, so. Keep you coming back, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, no, because or not a friend or just as a customer. No, because know? but I mean, you're not paying. I'm not so. paying. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> this I could, is such a weird relationship. I could, I could say yeah. fuck off anytime. And, you know, yeah. matter of fact, yeah, you know, most of the PT clients, mm. they put their shoes there. They leave their shoes there. There's like a shoe yeah. rack, right? I always yeah. take my shoes. Just in case yeah. you don't go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want that extra trip to be like- You, so. my friend, no. might be the sociopath. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's a little bit like- <laughs> he's like, He's like, hey, how come you always bring your shoes? How come you don't leave them here? Right? I go, just in case when I ghost you, I don't have to come back. <laughs> right. At least you're honest. Right, 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 right. Yeah. He starts laughing. Yeah. But um, So we went, ate Tom's Pizza. Uh-huh. That fucker's eyes lit up. He was like, he was like, this is great. This food, the pizza is so good. Oh, because he's never had like non kogoma pizza or like non sweet potato crust or gold or or whatever the <laughs> shit that you consider pizza these days, right? <laughs> okay. Right? Like where it's the, all pizza, right? Jeez, so cracker sauce and Fritos, right? Like like random shit on there, slice slice cheese. Anyway, right. yeah. So go on. So he freaked out. And so, did you? What'd you order him? Like, because you clearly it was his first time at a place like that. So you did you do oh, the? I just said I I I, t- I said uh, because you the the Tom's piece is packed, right? So yeah, I had the spicy chorizo. Uh, oh, pizza, nice, right? Nice. So I, he probably never had chorizo in his life. So I you know had that and he ate it and he was like, oh, this is really good. How did you explain chorizo to a Korean? Mexican sushi, right, 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 right. right, right. Okay. But then, but then, what happened was after the Thursday, mm-hmm. and then I met him on Sunday to work out again, right? Mm-hmm. From Thursday to Sunday, he went four times. Whoa! What? Wait, wait. Whoa, so basically, whoa, whoa. he went every day. Yeah, yeah. Right. Since I since I took him there, right? Pizza does not sit well in the stomach four days in a row. Right, right, and then yeah. and then so like you know, uh, Tom and his wife were like, "Hey, like, thank you for coming off him, but like, you're gonna get sick of this. Like, don't yeah. don't come, right?" And then even Tom, so yeah. he went four days in a row, and then on Sunday he goes, "You want to go eat pizza?" And I was like, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" Right? Yeah. He was like, "Oh, don't my sir, right?" So he walked there, mm-hmm. and it was already like seven ish, yeah. except eight ish, and he's like. We ran out of dough, bro. Right? Like that's what uh-huh. that's what Tom said. I was like, okay, whatever, right? But then he looks at me, he's like, Hey man, your dude's coming in every day. <laughs> right. So So uh, one day though, he's gonna get sick of it and then you're gonna be like, That's not my stomach. 
that's what I want to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm planning it. I'm planning it. But um, so yeah, I mean, but like you said, I am getting. Uh, I f- I feel energetic in the morning, uh-huh. right? Even though I don't do energetic things. Yeah. Right. Um, but I did the in body. You know what I mean? You know what that is like the 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 muscle mass, the fat uh bmi like yeah. you know you get on a you go barefoot it, 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 like you put your thumbs on some machine and it yeah, calculates yeah. all that shit yeah so uh my my for my height uh-huh. i have a average amount of muscle okay right but I have an exorbitant amount of fat. <laughs> you just said exorbitant. <laughs> yes, exorbitant. Exorbitant. <laughs> exorbitant. Yeah. Uh, like um, I'm like 29% body fat. I, right. Actually, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what that means. I, I've never understood that It means that I'm, scale a, I'm, I'm, never... I'm obese. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I need to get to like 18. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't seem, that's not far off. That's and a, then it says... An, uh, uh, like preferred weight that I need to lose to get to normal, mm-hmm. which is 28 kilograms. Okay. What are you at now? I'm at 93 Wait, wh- kilograms. What? Yeah. 28 kilograms? I need to lose 28 kilograms oh, to get to, to normal. Okay. Right? Damn. And I went, you know what, dude? I'm going to stay abnormal, but I'm going to get closer to normal. If that makes what it says. I'm yeah, not going to. I mean, that's how it starts. Yeah, yeah. You can't like, yeah. No, but look, but, man, I'm not going to be, I don't know what 60, like 70 some kilo, uh, kilograms is. Yeah. But that's like 150, 160, right? Yeah. I mean, we need right. you to be healthy. Man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't need, I don't, I don't need to be a, 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 an athlete. You know what I mean? I just need to get to manageable weight. So. I don't, I don't want to find a new host. Let's put it that way. So you need to stay healthy enough to keep. Yeah, this going. you know how hard <laughs> it is to find someone to deal with your uh, bullshit? Y- your bullshit. <laughs> so hard, so difficult, right? Let me tell you. I, I'm. Uh, let me tell you my side of this story mm. when it came to the housewarming gift, mm. right? Because I was thinking the same thing. Mm. I can't come empty handed, mm. right? And I didn't want to bring toilet paper. Mm. The same exact thought came mm. over my head. Mm. So I was thinking, you know, somebody bought us a gift for our house. Mm. And I was like, um, automatically, I was like, that's what I want to get mm. this person as well. And it, it was just hand soap. It's like really mm. nice, like smell, good smelling hand soap. Mm. So much that I akyo saw it. It's so good. Like I love it. It's like, like is a bar soap or is it like no? It's like a, a, a pump soap, mm-mm. right? And it's it it smells like a forest, mm. like pine. Mm. All right, or it's got this anyway. So I was like, I saw that store at uh, at the mall mm. close by. So I was like, I'm gonna pick that up on the way, and and I picked it up, not looking at the price because mm. there's no prices on it. I just like I mm. just saw it. I was like. Uh, which one of these are soap? He's like, oh, we only have two versions. I was right. like, oh, easy. Yeah, I'll just get the one that's more foresty. And they're like, oh, it's probably this one, right? So I got it. I go pay for it, and they're like, oh my god. Ooh. I was like, what'd you say? <laughs> Fifty bucks for hand soap? Like, uh-huh. how many? How long? If you washed your hands norm, like normally every day. Mm-hmm. How long do you think that that will last you? Uh, actually, it lasts a long time. Like we've had it for six months now, and it's still pretty full. And you have a full house. Yeah. So yeah, yeah man. Like yeah. So it's half actually, a year of so. Yeah, I'm actually you're thinking right. my way. So I was right. like thinking, all right, fifty bucks is a little bit much mm. for for hand soap. Mm. But I don't mind spending 50 bucks. Mm. That's not the point. It's right. just that on hand soap, I've never spent 50 bucks. Right. Because we use like, yeah. or whatever. The, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, it was like what, 10 bucks, right? But that at that point, it was already, they were packing it up and mm. stuff. Uh, there were, that whole system of getting in there, they could only take two customers at a time. Mm. Kind of thing. I was on a time constraint. So I was like, I'll just get it. But in my mind, I was like, every time, this motherfucker washes his hands. 
<laughs> he's gonna be like, "Thank you, Bob." <laughs> no, just like it's gonna. We should it's ask him. Last we should month. we should ask him yeah. who bought the better gift. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's a, you think, all right fine yeah let's do you do think it. me and let's you will get offended let's like, get it he's here now do you let's think one of now. us will get offended if they chose the like he like if he chose let's say he chose Hell me yeah, would you be like oh fuck that's a 50 dollar bottle of soap right or or, <laughs> if, or if it's like man that diffuser was mad expensive yeah, no, <laughs> um, no I mean, uh like i think it does it doesn't matter at this point i think like we had the more non-korean mindset mm -mm. of not getting the toilet paper mm. and the the laundry detergent and what else is there there's what else there's like other things you buy that uh rice right like mm. long lasting means uh, yeah but i was like this fucker rice. doesn't cook at home like that i mean he's yeah. here all the time right so yeah. anyway um, anyway okay so bit. hand soap this is how i'm gonna segue it to, right yeah it's in the bathroom uh, and recently I've been, you know, kind of researching a lot of Korean podcasts and content, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And I've seen this come up a lot, so I figured I'd bring it up, right? It's about peeing, right? Sitting down or standing up, oh, right? Okay. Now, for 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 me, uh, <laughs> like I've. Uh, I've, I've obviously we've all all dudes were taught to pee standing up. Yeah. Right. And I feel like in America we've been kind of at least our generation. Yeah. And your generation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have what, to separate our generation. Yeah, uh, what was uh, like we were as dudes we were kind of programmed to be kind of like macho. Yeah. Right. And and the macho thing to do is like peeing standing up. Yeah. Right. Uh, but in Korea, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that the dudes aren't as macho or whatever, but uh, a decent popu uh, percentage mm -hmm. pee sitting down. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. As a norm? It's yes. Like, like, yes. It's not like a... Right. Okay. I didn't know that. Actually, well, I... well, not at home. Oh, even in public? In public, public they would probably... Pee standing up. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah but but yeah. In, in at home, it's peeing sitting down. All right. The real question is mm -hmm. though, have you ever peed sitting down in public? <laughs> in a public bathroom? Uh, not on purpose. What, what, whoa, whoa, whoa. Th uh, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, because yeah. because you have to take a shit, so yeah. you sit down. Yeah. And then it was a false alarm, oh, and, and only pee just, comes out. Uh, in your, okay. And you're that like, man. Yeah. Man, I gotta go like. I gotta go hunt or something because I just feel yeah. I don't feel manly right now. <laughs> I need I need to go hunt. Like I need to go. All right. Like like catch a bear or something. Like right. I I pee sitting down all the time, and I'll tell you what because, you know, uh, I wake up before my wife and son wake up uh, mm. often, mm. right? And so I don't want to wake him up. We sleep in the same room. Mm. The bathroom is there, mm. and our you know I'm really quiet getting in there. Mm. And if I'm lucky enough not to wake him up getting into the bathroom, mm. turning on the light, mm. which turns on the fan, mm. I don't want to mess it up by peeing up, uh, standing up. Because you can hear through the through the door. So basically, right? it's kind of, you're kind of flexing right now. <laughs> no. Because you're saying that- I'm saying that I'm a responsible father. You're kind of flexing no. in the sense that the water pressure coming out of your pee hole, <laughs> right? Is, is, is loud is enough. Is loud to, enough no, 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 that it wakes not. up the whole family. It's, it's not. I only do that uh, when I have to pee in a toilet, not in a urinal. Mm. And I know, and there's other people in other stalls or out there. <laughs> I, like, I try to make it as loud as possible. You, <laughs> <laughs> but at home, like I go one step further. Like if it, if I, I move my junk mm. to hit the wall of the, of the, t right. the porcelain right. to make it not splash and make any mm. noise. Mm. Cause you know, there's a way to make it sound less. Loud. Okay, so so all right. <laughs> what are we talking okay, about? Okay, so so aside from <laughs> as, aside from your ninja ojum in the mornings, yeah. right? Right? Like, okay, when you're at home and ev like your son's awake, everybody's awake. Yeah. Do you still sit down and pee? Um, no. 
I, I, I stand up. So we yeah. both, so me too. But, yeah. um, my, uh, my, um, my friends, they did a, it's on YouTube where the thing was, they were going to, it's about peeing, sitting down or standing up. Right. Okay. And the reason why is because of the cleanliness, because there's always going to be splashback. No matter oh, yeah. where you hit the bowl or whatever you're standing yeah. up. Right. So they did, what they did was obviously they're not going to pee. So they use like water gun, like super soakers. Yeah. And then, then they, they, they tested they, the, they peed uh-huh. or quote unquote peed. And yeah. then um, <clears throat> they, they uh, turn on the black light uh-huh. to see how far the pee is. Gone, oh, wow. Okay. Right? Okay. You know, mm-hmm. and uh, it, it went quite a far distance. Oh, really? Right. Okay. Yeah. So that's why. And, and, and like in another podcast, like, uh, like the wife goes, fucking pee sitting down yeah because i have to clean the bathroom yeah and you and and i there's you're oh, always yeah, peeing yeah. on the ground and that's why they're doing that but for all our listeners yeah. out there mm-hmm. uh men uh any of you pee sitting down and for women do you pee standing up? no no no, 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 no. <laughs> uh if, like for your boyfriends or your husbands like yeah you know, is that a thing? Does that piss you off? Well, or? I mean, for one thing, in Korea, it's a little bit different because if you pee, like, sure, it gets on the ground, mm. little specks here and there, mm-hmm. but uh, like I shower every day, mm. right? So I take that opportunity to spray down the whole, mm. the whole floor, floor, everything, yeah. the whole yeah. bathroom, actually, yeah. for that matter. So I know that I'm, and I'm always kind of, that's an area I always make sure that I'm, you're, you're cleaning yeah, out. Yeah. Right. And I got this foam spray thing that I use and, and, and we got to keep it like hygienic for the kid, you know, right. anyway. So, um, my wife gives me a lot of shit about flushing the toilet, uh, with the, with the top down. Like if the top is ever up, I yeah. mean the cap, what do you call it? The, the cover, yeah, yeah, the toilet cover. Uh, she, is always like making sure that I do it with that because when you flush, apparently the shit particles go up. The yeah, yeah, yeah. it goes up towards the hits a ceiling apparently. Mm. So one time she caught me doing a, a courtesy flush. Uh-huh. I mean, this was a while ago, right, right? Right. So I remember I did a courtesy flush. We were we were poo poo by then. Right? <laughs> you we were like uh-huh. we were like so. Yeah, she saw, saw me taking it down. Mm-hmm. Anyway, and then I did a courtesy flush, you know, for the smell. And I, and then I told her, oh, I did that. So the yeah. smell, for the smell. And she's like, don't ever do that. She because thought, you're... Yeah. Don't eat, don't eat. You don't <laughs> yeah, she that. was so disgusted with me. <laughs> she's like... Uh, so she gave me one of those, you know, you know, side eye things kind of, but it, but like looking straight at me. <laughs> kind of like, <laughs> so, this motherfucker, <laughs> all his life... It's been, you know, so. I mean, I know there's people like that where, you know, like even the, like the toothbrush. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. usually it's like a lot of people like, it's like, like against the, yeah. the, the the mirror, right? Yeah. It, they have caps, caps to cover them because of the fact that in the toilet. Yeah. Like when you flush, there's fucking dong particles. Yeah. Yeah. That can actually reach. You know. Damn, this is turning into a weird conversation. But we, we, I mean, now they sell those, um, those cases for you just open it up and you put the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, All right, so, dude, I, I feel like <laughs> what the majority of our episodes in the last maybe like two months. It's like a show about nothing. Have, have been, well, yeah, but there's one show that was like that that made a lot of money, right? But um, yeah but it's very scatological, right? Uh, so let's wow. change it. Wow. <laughs> let's change it from the scatological uh, to... Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what I want to talk about? What? <laughs> the first, I this weekend, I yelled at a bus driver. Ooh. Like at the top of my lungs. Like it was my first, the first time. Okay, so uh, I'll set it up, right? So we took the bus to church and back. Mm-hmm. On the way back... We got on this bus and we just happened, you know, some bus drivers, they're just like really grumpy. Mm, Yeah, yeah. And this guy yelled at a couple of, uh, uh, you know, passengers Mm. for not jiggling the tea money thing correctly. Or like, he was just a little bit off and like he drove like a maniac. 
hit the brake too many times. Like everyone's swinging around. And so I just like did not have a good feeling about the guy, but which I'm used to. Yeah. You know, mo most times I let it slide because you're never, not get, gonna get a perfect bus driver, right? Yeah. But as we were getting off, you know, usually I jump off uh, first, right. uh, off the back, mm. and then. I offer my hand to my wife, mm. who was holding Benji in one of those Bjorns, baby Bjorns. Yeah. And he fell asleep, mm. like face forward, uh, facing out. My wife is holding his head mm. uh, back mm. and she's taking her time off the bus. Mm. She's the last one off. Right. Right. This bus driver, mm. this guy closes the door Ooh. when she's, and it hits her on the side and, and pushes her uh. around. Uh. and. I, I couldn't see if my son got hit. All I know that he woke up, uh, right? Uh, like, yeah. right? He was like, and so uh, he opened the door right away. Uh, and my in-laws were with us. Yeah. So they tended to, to Benji. Uh, and so did my wife. Uh, Just instinctively, I jumped on the bus again uh, in the back and I yelled, or something like that. I think I said or something. And then um, I kind of, <laughs> everyone freaked out. Mm. Not freaked out. They just were like, whoa. Yeah. Even my wife was like shocked, you know? Um, so I, and then he said, sorry. Mm. The bus driver said, sorry. Mm. And I got off the bus to check on Benji. Yeah. I checked his face, his right. legs, and he was okay. You didn't you check know, on your wife. He was though? just really drowsy and stuff, but um, I, I probably did. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she was okay. She said. She said she was okay. Okay, okay. So, uh, but then the bus driver left the door open. This guy's not going mm. right. So he turned the engine off mm. and he came outside to apologize, mm. right? And I was like, not expecting that. Mm. So. At that point, you know, he came to apologize and I couldn't look him in the eye. I what? was kind of, I was so mad because mm. everyone was like, um, uh, said, it's okay. He's fine. Mm -hmm. Everyone's fine and mm. stuff. But for me, it was like, I'm not fine. You're like, I'm not fine. Mm. You can't just like, you should, you have, you have to know that there's a child on board. Right, right, right. right? And that were, I mean, you got to at least, I don't know. So um, my father-in-law also told him, hey, you have to be careful. Like mm. with kids, like you have to slow down sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so he was getting it from that. Mm. The old man, he's getting from the young guy. Like, uh, so, or he was probably my age. Or <laughs> but, um, so you... But here's the thing. Mm. I thought about it after my wife and stuff. They're like, oh, appa, chadessa. Like all this like... Uh, she was telling, they were calling their, their, you know, her aunt, mm. uh, her, her brother. Mm. Oh, you know what Bobby did? <laughs> but it wasn't like he did a good thing. Mm. It's like this guy jumped on the bus yeah. and just said something nobody understood. <laughs> <laughs> it was more like, I don't know what I said. In my mind, I thought I said, Ajashi, Eggy yeah. Chanayo. Baby is here. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Baby here. <laughs> so, so everyone on the bus is like probably thinking, yo, who is this fucking foreigner <laughs> yelling? <laughs> and, and on top of that, like, yeah, I could just tell like, cause your, 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 t the tone of your voice, mm -hmm. I'm sure when you get mad, it's yeah. like, it's more, it's higher pitch, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's not like menacing as no, opposed no. to like, it's no more one comical. Was, nobody was concerned. Right. Like they didn't like, no, I, I don't feel like anyone felt threatened. They're like, oh shit. This, <laughs> like, no. It was like more Benny Hinn, Hinn music, Benny Hill music. I think the bus driver came off the bus just to, to make sure, like mm. he didn't hurt anyone and he wasn't going to get fired yeah, or sued, yeah, yeah. right? So he didn't come off to be like, oh, I better check on that guy. He's like yelling at me. <laughs> you know what you should have done? Baby is here. <laughs> yeah. You know what you should have done though? You should have, uh, for them to even be more afraid of their job and uh -huh. to apologize to you more mm -hmm. would have been if you like 
took a, like a photo of like uh, the bus number, like, yeah, like, <laughs> like the bus, like the whatever. That's when they're like, oh shit, now, uh, now this is a bigger complaint, yeah. right? You know? Um, okay, so in your mind, when you jumped on this bus, right? Yeah. Like, obviously you were angry and all this stuff, right? But if you had, because since you are a writer and a mm. director, if you had to okay. put this in a movie <laughs> scene. Mm. Right? Who would play me? I would probably <laughs> uh, just, like what kind of uh, music would you put into it to like describe the scene? Like to to emphasize like would it be like that kind of like uh, like Hans Zimmer when 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 the hero arrives at the scene or or, or like, like the Joker one note yeah yeah yeah, yeah. or or like yeah. or like uh <laughs> or like uh Lord of the Rings I forget who that is I don't know if it's the, whoever but like you, you know got like, it all wrong man like it like, like 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 Gandalf saves the day and it's like da -da -da, right like no I, it would have been like like Friday or something <laughs> like. Like, you know, this guy, this, who's this Asian motherfucker? <laughs> Mary J. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Um, like, I, I was like re recounting it that day in my head. I was like, people must have kind of laughed at that. I mean, clearly my wife and her parents were, were they, laughing at it too, yeah. like afterwards. My my wife did one of those things like where she put her hand on my face, ah, uh -huh. uh, so uh -huh. you know. But really, she was like cracking up inside because yeah. I just like spewed out the wrong words, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. Excuse me, sir, baby, now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man. Um. Well. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was your first kind of like uh defending your family parental or, instinct yeah 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 kind yeah of thing that's cool hey, yeah man. i mean like in a in a way that caused me to yell that loud yeah it's the first time that's happened hey i other times it's been more just like i'm annoyed with people and how how inconsiderate they are yeah like it happens a lot because we we don't have a car anymore, mm -mm. so we're on um, public transportation mm. all the time, mm. and there are clearly places that you know are only for people with kids my age, uh, the Benji's age, right? That are designated for for them. You mm. know, my wife needs uh, should have a seat. Right, right, right. Now, that kind of stuff bothers me, but I'm not gonna yell at the top of my, you know. If you were on a bus. Right, and then there's like the 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 seats for the mom and young infant, mm. and somebody's sitting there, yeah, without, and it's just a person, yeah. Would you tell them to like? I've done that uh, when there's an actual a situation where they need to, because uh. they're on their phone or something. Yeah. They don't see like an elderly person. And then what? Right in front and of what them. would you do? Like what? Like, what? I, what would I do? Like, would you like? Okay. You and your wife and your kid on the yeah. bus, right? And there is a there's a seat designated for your wife. Yeah. Right. And, oh, and they're not paying attention. And they're not paying. What would you do? Um. Actually, like I would secure them uh, first, like by standing up. Uh. But usually, in most cases, uh, like people get up. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't go. I just see. Eggy so. <laughs> no, but you know, like I told you before, like yeah. I don't get up. I, I mean, I'll get up for 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 moms, mm -hmm. and like like pregnant women for sure. I'll get up, right? Yeah, I get up for like like with with like very small kids. Yeah, but that's it. I don't get up for older people. I, I would, don't. I'll get up for them almost always right. at, on, on buses right. because it's so um, you, it's unsteady that you can't get your. Um, it's hard, like I like in New York, yeah. like I remember having to get my, like I'm used to getting my, my footing, mm. but in Korea, for some reason, like, I don't know, the hydraulics or the brakes, something is mm. off. So I don't trust it. So I try to, I always give up those seats on a, on a train though. Like, you know, that's a, that's a little bit. Different. I don't, I, well, on a train, definitely. I'd be like, Hey, your seats are over there. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. That's where you wait. Right. But. 
on honestly i used to give up the seat for older people because i thought of them as oh they can be my mom or my dad yeah right but what happened but i realized they are not my mom and my dad <laughs> so i don't give a shit really Dude, right right you and your personal trainer were made for each other <laughs> sociopaths <laughs> unite um I was doing a, like a douchebag yesterday. I was uh, Google searching myself, right? I mean, the reason why I was Google searching myself was because mm -hmm. uh, I have a show coming up uh -huh. and they needed newer photos or photos to make a flyer, okay. right? And I wanted to see what kind of photos were online of me that were recent. Oh, they could just right? grab it. Right, right, and just yeah. send it over. And um, for my Google search, it said Danny Cho net worth, right? And I was like, uh huh, because I've because I've seen like celebrity net worth, right? Where it's yeah. like, how much is this celebrity this net worth? I was like, well, they, why would they even have this, right? Yeah. So I click on the link, and it says that my net worth is twelve million dollars. Well, right? Like, what kind of what site is this? Like, it was like a legitimate or like a what? I, well, clearly, it's not a legitimate, not legitimate site right? if but, they 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 they. they grossly miscalculated my but they network. have other celebrities on there they have like other like i didn't check oh yeah you, you were just okay i was just like <laughs> why would anyone because it doesn't say how you got to 12 million dollars right yeah you know because i've seen like other people's net worth now wait wait so what did you what did you exact you went on google Mm -hmm. well, and I you put Danny, Danny Cho. Cho. That's yeah. it. Yeah, and, and was that a, came out. That's was the just, first thing that came out. Not the first yeah. thing that came out. I was just scrolling to see like what mm -hmm. was what was up there that I don't know about myself, right? Yeah. And apparently, I'm worth twelve million dollars, <laughs> right? More like twelve mi million one, <laughs> <laughs> which I have in my that's, bank. That's, I have more in my mm -hmm. bank than that now. <laughs> Flexing. No, but um, dude, you have what? What was that? You have more than I do. Jeez. I mean, I'm. I don't have a kid. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm balling. But I don't know how much I, I honestly have. Mm. Everything goes to my wife. Right, right, right. And she's yeah. doing what she will. So, so now I was thinking that I was worth twelve million dollars. Mm -hmm. I was start, then I went into this rabbit hole yesterday. I was on the bus when I searched it, and mm -hmm. I even sent it to you, right? Yeah, yeah. I, and know. I was worth twelve million dollars, right? <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah. So I was thinking to myself, like. I went into like dream mode. What mm. if I had twelve million dollars? Uh, what would I do with it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I don't know if you have this, but like every time the lottery or the Powerball or whatever back in the U.S. was at like going to like a billion bucks, a billion, yeah, like, like a whatever. Billion, yeah. I yeah. I start thinking to myself like, oh, the start. winning winning the lottery dreams. What if? Yeah, everyone has a winning the lottery dream. Yeah. Right. So to me, like. I was. I have a figure. I have a figure called "fuck you money." Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everyone, I think, should have a, a a "fuck you money" amount. What is your "fuck you money" amount? Right. Minus ten. I don't know. Minus ten million. How'd you come up that come up with that number? Because at ten million dollars, I know that I, me, and my immediate family will be comfortable. Like, okay. like, meaning, like, I'm not gonna go like ball out or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. like, I buy a house one or two. Yeah. Right. And the okay. rest is kind of like through other investments, I can continue to just make money. Okay. Right. Passively and just live. But I'm not going to be like flying first class or, you know, like private jet or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's enough for me and my immediate family. And if I have kids, up to my kids will be taken care of. Right. You can figure, you can figure something out comfortably with $10 million. Yeah. Like in terms of investing that and making sure it like lasts longer than yes, yes, you yes. Need to. And and why I call it fuck you money is because mm. that's when like like okay, if a if somebody like goes, Hey, can you do this gig for me? Uh -huh. I was paid, I'd be like, Yeah. Um, but can you not do these jokes? Uh -huh. Right? If I have fuck you money, oh yeah, and then I'm like, oh, fuck you, I'm not yeah. gonna do the gig, okay, right? But I don't have fuck you money right now, so I'm gonna be like, oh no, okay. yes, yes, please, money. Right? I get it now, right? So what is the number? The fuck you money is basically where you don't have to kiss anybody's ass. You're not nunchi buying anybody at a certain level. Yeah, you just be like, you can't yeah. say shit to me, son. You know, 
I think it for me it'd be probably less than ten million. Mm. Maybe closer to maybe like two million. I just hit twenty ten. I know. Okay, so at two million dollars, yeah, but that's not fuck you money. That's like uh, like for me, you like, buy uh, one house and that's it. I wouldn't buy a house. Mm. <laughs> like I, I don't know. If it was just me, actually, I would need more money because if if I have to bring my family into the equation, then mm. yeah, I, it, it should be more than okay. that. Yeah. So if you had ten million dollars, yeah, what would be the like what some what's something that you would buy? Uh-huh. That's not like everyone's gonna say like a like car or house or whatever, right? Uh-huh. Is there something like just what I would buy, like random, like like why would you buy that? Yeah, I would buy like a what do you call it, like a camper, like, like a like a like, like know, RV like, camper, like an Airstream. Oh, okay, camper, like something like that where I could we can go camping and you know take the family out like on like you know. Weekend excursions. You're gonna buy one. You, you can just rent those. No, I would buy it because oh, yeah. I, I want to feel like it's mine and mm. I lived in it and nobody else's. Mm. You know, germs are in there. It's a little different, but like yeah. uh, uh, Bill Burr says, "Don't be the guy with the boat." Oh yeah, right, right. Yeah, be the guy yeah. who has a friend with a boat. I don't think I would ever buy a boat. Yeah, no, but yeah. be the friend. Yeah, meaning don't buy the camper. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm, I'm I mean, but secretly, I want to live in like a tiny home. Mm. Um, you know, kind of get live mortgage free, live mm. like debt free. Yeah, and I feel like tiny homes are a way to go. Uh, that's what I was like, not working and w- watching a lot of Netflix. <laughs> like, I went down that that road of like watching those uh, those kinds of programs. But then I, I thought about it. Like, I I watch a lot of those videos on. Facebook these days actually uh, uh, they, it does that doesn't let you stop watching videos yeah, yeah, yeah. and I came across um, uh, just like motorhomes kind of thing and I saw some really nice Airstream um, things and I was like I could live in that I probably could live in that and just move uh, when I wanted to move you know because I've never been comfortable staying put because I've moved around so much right. in my life um, by the time I was, I, 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 by the time I got into high school, I had moved 18 times, right? And so that was the first time I stayed put. Um, and after that, I just moved. I think I have a list of like all the places I've ever lived. And it's like nearing 50, 60 Dang. places. My, I'm the exact opposite. So, oh, so, I mean, like right now, even just thinking of when I'm, uh, at my apartment now, mm. uh, max, we're going to be there four more years, mm. four or five years. Right. And that's too long because that would, that would constitute the longest time I've been in one place. And it's kind of freaking me out. That's weird. It's weird. I know, but it's it's just because I've never stayed in one place so long. Although I've been in Korea for 10 years now. Next month will be 10 years. Right. But like... like for like you, in, it's like that. Yeah. But then you can't just make that decision if, let's say, your wife and kid are like, um, no, my friends are here. Yeah. Like, like wh- we're not getting in that airstream. Yeah. Yeah. Why, that, why, uh, why are we putting, <laughs> why are we putting, what? What are you talking about? Right? You know, like, I, like part of me wants them to, to have that dream too, to kind of like be like, we're not like defined by, Right. You know, but I know we have different upbringings and whatnot, but, you know, dad should have some say in the right. way. Right. You know, the, yeah. <laughs> At least on the weekends. Come on, let's <laughs> get out of the, out of town. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> Airstream <laughs> I'm just going to. They're just... not cheap too, by the way. Yeah, Those yeah. things are not cheap. I mean, they, they, they're upward of. The amount it costs a house plus you, you have to pay the up for the upkeep and like it's like yeah it's like that's mini house it's a tiny home that's but be- you know what that's better than me because i feel like my my ideas are always like petty yeah you know 
and maybe I go, you know what? I should be become a better person. <laughs> okay. Because I was like, I think I told you this, but like, if I have a lot of money, if I a- a- achieve fuck you money status, uh-huh. I'm gonna get a famous photographer. Uh huh. Anybody f- like well known, and have them artistically take a photo of me flipping the middle finger. Uh huh. And I'm going to make many copies of it, frame them nicely. And send them to people that I don't like. Holy, that's I, I don't know what the word is. Maniacal is yes. coming to like, yes. Um, geez, Danny. But you know what? Like, okay, so I, I, but, I, this is the last. This is the one and only time that I will try to even remotely compare myself to Kobe Bryant. Right, Kobe Bryant in high school. Uh-huh. He's so like maniacal about basketball and being the best. That he had a "quote unquote" kill list uh-huh. of play. So you know, ba- high school basketball players—they're ranked like who's the number one basketball player, and you're ranked to go to college or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So he was not number one. Oh, really? So uh, like, like, like in junior year or whatever. Uh-huh. So he had a kill list, and he's like, whenever I see them on the court, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker on the court. Or he's gonna embarrass them, right? Right? Try right. To like- right school them so so to me that would it was motivation to prove that he's better than them or he's dominant or whatever right who who, who's on your kill list can't say that (laughs) why not there's a lot of people on my kill list there's a lot Uh, like more than 10 no not more than 10 okay that's not a lot yeah yeah. but but (laughs) there's gonna be people that have uh which is which is which fuels me not mm-hmm. to be famous or whatever yeah but to be like ha, ha. you got the best of them in some some way not even that i like i i i was better than him career wise or monetary wise or whatever yeah it's just a they didn't believe in you yes yeah yes. okay oh well, well yeah. okay it's a firm kill list like that like like uh-huh. there are people that go that have been my life that is like you're not gonna make it what are you doing? Mm-hmm. I go, I was like, okay, we'll see. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I don't, it's not, I don't think uh, I it's definitely not that. healthy. <laughs> it's not healthy. It's not, it's definitely not healthy. So I those mean, it's people, not but, something to live, live, like look forward to. I feel like. Oh, I do. <laughs> I want to see their, I want to see that look in their Damn, face Danny. when I cross, like, when I get there and I'd be like, but, but, but the thing is like this, yeah. you know, the kill them with kindness, like whatever. When I see them, I'm, I'm oh, going to be like this. I'm yeah. gonna be, I'll be like this. I don't what necessarily up? believe in that either killing what up, buddy? kindness. Hey, man. Nice to see you again. I think there's a solution for every problem. Right, right. And if there's a problem between you and a person, right. like sometimes it's worth fixing. Sometimes it's not. And, it, and if it's not, that's the solution. You right. just like don't ever have to uh, associate yourself with this person. But, but here's, here's, here's a, a solution. another basketball related story and a similar mm-hmm. kill list story but it flopped the other way. LeBron James, mm-hmm. right? He was, uh, it was one of the first finals he got on, uh, the first NBA finals he went with, with the Heat. Okay. Right, where they lost, uh-huh. right? But they were up, they were up like three games to two or whatever. Okay. And they were about to win. So that game, right before the game, he had a list of people to like, like be like, these are my haters. And he was trying oh, to really? like, he was prepared to be like, go oh, fuck you guys. Uh-huh. I did it. Uh-huh. But then. It they, slipped away. They lost the championship. And so. then and then he told that story eventually? Uh, I don't think he told it. Someone else told oh, it. Right, that's, right. That, that's a weird right. situation. So, so <laughs> no, not really, because <laughs> I feel like whatever it takes to motivate you yeah. to get to a certain level, Right. You know what I mean? So some people use anger and like, like haters to be like, yo, I'm going to, I'm going to meet that person. I I get that. Yeah. I totally get it. For me, I'm, I'm on the long, uh, like package plan for like, (laughs) for success. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's always been for everything I do. I think, I think that's why I'm so drawn to running. Mm. Like I'm not a fast runner. Yeah. I'm like, uh, I run hard and long. Oh, that, that's a, <laughs> that, this that, is that a applies, second. This that is applies a second, to sex too, actually. This is the second time Bobby has flexed on his, on his wait, penis. Wait. All right. 
so I don't want to wake up the whole family yeah, with the peace dream. I'm not a, I don't have, I, I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't finish fast. Right. But I'm long and hard. <laughs> Did I just say that? Okay, it's so a marathon running, right. right? For me, it's not, I'm really slow, right. actually. But I actually can go the distance. Mm. Like endurance. Mm. Like fucking I ran from San Diego to Los Angeles. Right, like right. It, nobody can ever say, I can't, I can't do that. Right. Right. Most people on planet Earth have never ran from San Diego to <laughs> Los Angeles. Like I can flex a little bit yeah, about that. Of course, of course. All right, so, but I take that also and... I definitely apply that to other parts of my life, mm. including success, right. including my music, uh, my abilities as a musician, as a songwriter. I know I'm in it for the long haul. Right. Like I've seen so many trends, even in music, uh, come and go. Right. And I'm still sticking with what I know mm. and it, it still gets me by, you yeah. know, like, and so maybe it's not doing so hot right now because I can't keep up with streaming and all that stuff, but who cares? You know, I've, I'm still going to work on my craft when I'm hopefully when, in my old age. And so I think that's where the finish, finish line is for me. Yeah. You know, like the, the marathon, a, a marathon is 26.2 miles, whatever. Mm. An ultra marathon is anything beyond that. Uh, San Diego to Los Angeles is like 120 miles, right? So maybe... I'm running multiple marathons. So you like, never, you never like uh, in your mind ever see those people that have I blatantly been like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, uh, like, like in your mind, you're like, oh, sure. I yeah. can't wait to do the uh, Nelson of the Simpsons. Ha <laughs> ha. Like, you don't, you don't, you don't have, you don't have like a single inkling of that? Not really. It, it, it's very fleeting. Mm. Like it, it comes and goes. Mm. I, it does every now and then mm. with young people mm. uh, that don't know who I am. Mm. <laughs> you know, when they're doing music, right. for instance, and like we like every now and then I'll come up, I'll meet somebody that's like a young musician and, and I talk to them and, and try to get to know what their motivations are. Mm. And I have nothing in common with them. Yeah. Right. I feel that way whenever they try to tell me what I need to be doing. Right. That's happened maybe a few times, mm. but I can't even tell you who said it mm. uh, because it's been so like, like it doesn't like affect me. Like I'm there. I don't have a kill list you know, because it's just like, why let that, it, that, that would weigh me down. Like, but maybe not for you, but like, we're yeah. very different. Yeah, yeah. I think the reason why this podcast has lasted so long, mm. even beyond like with when in soul and mm. all this, like we continue to do this is because we do have different uh, approaches to life. Yeah. And I need to hear your perspective on things. And I hope you need to see my perspective on things. Yeah. And that way we can, know what else is out there i mean we just kind of absolutely i mean i mean i want to obviously like oh, oh i i do want to clarify like yeah. the kill list is not what motivates me mm -hmm. right what motivates me is that like i have and this i think we are similar to is that we have very high expectations of what we want to create like oh, yeah. like, like and that mm -hmm. doesn't mean sales or anything that yeah. really means like straight up that was like like that's a dope bit yeah which yeah. i know that you will it will you, it'll be very hard for you to be like that is an amazing song i just wrote right yeah it's hard same with me that is a, that i will it'll be very it's i haven't done it yet to mm -hmm. be like that is a dope ass bit that i wrote right because yeah. our 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 expectations and and what we want to create is way up there right so yeah. my motivation is to see if i can you know that's uh, why i have a soft it. spot right. for comedy and right. i know exactly what you're talking about right. because i know that because i you know i respect the journey of comics mm. and stand up comedians like i know that it's n it doesn't come overnight yeah, yeah, yeah. it is essentially the same thing I'm I'm going through. Right, 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 right. And so I can respect it because I know uh, on the surface people treat you one way, mm. 
but I can look past that and know that it goes much deeper and there's much more discipline. Yeah. And I and I respect that. I respect that about stand-up comedians. My thing is like, why don't you re- fucking respect me <laughs> when it's the same thing? I'm just kidding. No. So, but you do, right? <laughs> yeah, of Res- course. Respect. Yeah. Like any artist yeah. uh, would respect each other. It, it becomes like you and I have this thing where we'll see somebody that does not have that discipline, but yeah. has a certain amount of success mm. early mm. and we'll kind of give her, we, we, we don't, it goes without saying, yeah. we're, but we're really saying, look at this motherfucker, get out of my face yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> you know, it's like, right. I need someone in my life to kind of commis, uh, what's the, like to commiserate, commiserate yeah. with, yeah. you yeah. know? And um, I appreciate that. So I think that's why this podcast will keep going. I need someone like you to... Because every now and again, we both need to be like, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> but it's so funny. I yeah. love those moments when, right. we, when, we, when we catch that. Yeah. And we do that often. Yes. Like we spend enough time to be like, like we can laugh at those things. Yeah, me and you had a moment, which we can't say here, but uh, mm. we had a moment last week where yeah. we were somewhere and I was like, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Like uh, anyway, yeah. but you know, we should probably wrap it up now because we we're going too deep for the new new right. podcast. But everybody, um, you know what, Bobby and I have been talking. Uh, uh, number one, we're gonna the studio is going to move, so uh, we might be a little bit late on uh, an episode here or there because the studio is gonna move. And once we move, Bobby and I have been. Uh, talking about yeah. uh, bringing a few changes yeah. to the Nunchi podcast, I, and hopefully I, you will I, like. I, I want to point out that it's bittersweet that we're moving because we've kind of finally figured out how to use this space, right? And we're really fond of it. We love um, everything that this room can do now. Mm. We know every sin- single nook and cranny, uh, but we got to move on. We're moving to a a, a bigger studio. Yeah. It's exactly what we kind of need right. at the moment. And we had to jump at it, the opportunity. So, um, but like Danny said, with that also comes some changes with the podcast. Right. We're going to try to do our due diligence and try to make it more entertaining for you guys that are actually listen, listening and, you know. Hey, have loyal. you ever used the word due diligence uh, prior to working here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like you've said due diligence way more in your lifetime since you've been here. I, I feel, yeah. I mean, it's like a easy, to, uh, it's easy to, uh, what's another one? Hey, you gotta, Probably. Do, you gotta do your due diligence and learn more fucking vocabulary. Yeah, words. yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well, everybody, thanks for listening. Uh, as always, thank you for the comments uh, and uh, big shout outs to Tom's Pizza. Yeah. For, uh, we, a, I went there twice this week. Don't tell uh, Don't tell your personal trainer that if he mentions the new Chi podcast, he gets a free shot of tequila. <laughs> I did. I already did. <laughs> oh, you already told me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can only use that once, though. Right. All right, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>